Welcome to Tetronic. The following video is going to demo using the 3 series MDL for some basic RF measurements with the IoT device. Before I started, here is the item I use for the demonstration. I have two TI IoT evaluation board as a device under test, an SMA cable to connect from the RF module to the RF input on the scope, and then an end to SMA adapter for the RF input. The standard accessory only includes the end to BNC adapter. In this case, the end to SMA adapter will be needed instead. An SMA antenna as a second device for nearby channel transmission. Let's get started. I'm connecting the SMA socket on the duct, which is intended for the SMA antenna to the scope. With the direct connection, we should be able to detect the transmission a lot easier. After I connect the cable, I'm going to turn on the RF channel. And next, I'm going to turn on the TX mode on the board. In the demonstration, I'm going to using a CW signal. And right now, you can see the signal on the screen. First, I'm going to adjust the reference level. The default setting is set to 0 dBm. I have set up the board is transmitting around 10 dBm. Let's just start to set to 15 dBm as the reference level. Next, I'm going to set up the center frequency. In the case where you do not know the center frequency, I probably suggest you to expand the span to view a wider frequency range. After you narrow down the center frequency, you may want to shorten the span in order to have a better resolution on the signal. That could be done by changing the span and the RBW, the resolution bandwidth. With the built-in spectrum analyzer, you could adjust directly for the RBW to achieve the resolution you need. Compared to Lomo built-in FFT map on the oscilloscope, this is a distinctive feature on the 3 Series MDO with the dedicated RF hardware. Without the RF hardware, you probably need to adjust the setting in the time domain before you're able to see the signal. The ISM band is varied from 433 megahertz to up to 2.4 gigahertz. My deck is specifically for sub-gigahertz IoT device, which mostly intended to use for around 868 megahertz to 915 megahertz. 868 megahertz are mostly used for European region, and the 950 megahertz is for the North American region. The 1 gigahertz built-in spectrum analyzer is standard on the 3 series MDO which would be a perfect fit for measuring up to 950 megahertz signal. I'm going to set the center frequency at 950 megahertz. Now you can see the peak power marker is listed for 950 megahertz at the center of the screen. Next, I'm going to narrow down the span to around 50 megahertz, and you can see the RBW is down to 50 kilohertz. And that will allow you to see more detail of the signal. You could also use the RF auto measurement, such as the RF power. The measurement reading is going to show on the right hand side of the screen. Next, I'm going to adjust the span down to 2 MHz to put more marker to see multiple peak around the center frequency. You can see the center frequency is very about from 950 MHz to 915.005 MHz and that allow you to see the center frequency offset is around 5 kHz. The sub gigahertz range of mostly unlicensed band is not as strict as the 2.4 GHz. For the 2.4 GHz IoT application, you probably will want to use similar method to see the approximate RF power spectrum density to see if it meet your local requirement. Thank you for watching. See you next time.